What's up guys, it's Feev Chief here and welcome back to another FC25 preview video. Today we're going to be looking at the official Rush deep dive that EA just dropped. If you don't know what Rush is, it's essentially the new five-a-side game mode that they're putting into FC25. And the reason we're kind of excited for it is because it's also in Ultimate Team and you're going to be able to use cards from your Ultimate Team playing with your friends as well to play five-a-side together. So let's Let's go ahead and dive right into this we'll let the video play the first time through and then kind of go back through it and look a little deeper into each aspect they've also got some very cool people narrating parts of this video so let's go ahead and check it out football is nothing without five aside fc25 brings the most social way to play every game mode for the first time ever introducing rush Five side matches for the game this year. Breno and Danilo, take it away. Rush 5v5 is something completely new to the FC franchise. 5v5 has everything that 11v11 has to offer, but on a smaller pitch. It's a new way to play your favorite modes in FC. While gameplay will feel the same as any match in FC 25, there are some notable differences that make Rush special. Each match starts with a new kickoff experience that sees players rushing towards the halfway line to see who can claim possession. And to accommodate the smaller pitch, we have changed the offside rules so that a player can only be offside in the attacking third. There are no red cards in rush. When a serious fall happens, blue cards are issued, resulting in a temporary suspension from the pitch. If the opposition scores, the offending player will return to the pitch faster. We learned a lot from past small-sided game modes, which helped shape the design and feel of Rush. Weaker matches, zero long-term fatigue, and a clock that counts down to the final whistle. In the case of a draw, matches go to golden goal, followed by a new kind of 101 penalty shootout. Nike has designed a new custom stadium just for Rush in Ultimate Team and Clubs. We'll have more on that later this summer. Match day feels very different from other experiences in FC with new broadcast overlays, cinematic intros, and new commentary from Fernando Paloma. And we're underway here! We mentioned this earlier, but Rush is something you can play across every game mode, in clubs, Ultimate Team, and career. In Ultimate Team, bring in a player from your club, and you control that player for the entire match, which makes the experience feel much more personal. It's the perfect complement to the intensity of Rivals and Champs, and you can continue to earn rewards for your Ultimate Team squad. Progression in Club's Rush is all about playing as a team as well, prioritizing winning games over individual performances. Every win contributes a victory point to your club's tally and improves your individual Rush rank, taking you one step closer to exciting seasonal rewards. Rush is integrated into Youth Academy in Manager Career, all centered around small-sided Rush games that allow players to have more Nobody control cares over Youth though. Academy development. Taking the traditional skill games training we've had in FC, to something more fun to play and more adaptable. The best and possibly most frustrating part of the beautiful game is communication. During the match, you can send quick messages and reactions to your teammates <laughs> in real time, or use the right stick to signal to your teammates where you want to go. Okay, that's it. Everything that's that you need sweet. to know about Rush. Okay, this has me much you, more excited I... than I was for this game mode already. So let's go ahead and talk about the, the different parts that we saw here. So little intro, I think it's really cool that they had Philly, Ginge, I think they had Pi in there as well. So again, Rush is 5v5 game mode. There's an AI keeper and then four users. So you and three friends can play which is great. So let's it, obviously smaller pitch. It's 5v5. First new thing is going to be this new cannon launch. There's not like a typical kickoff. The ball gets launched into the middle of the field and you basically run towards it to try and get the ball first, which is going to make for some hilarious clips. It's going to make for quite a few blue cards, which is a new thing, which we'll talk about in a second. I like it. It's probably going to be glitchy. Uh, next thing they talked about was blue cards. There's no red cards. There's no yellow cards. Essentially, when you commit a hard foul, you're going to get a blue card, which has you off the pitch for a temporary amount of time. I'd imagine they don't have that down and they'll probably play with it a little bit. So your team will play down a man for a certain amount of time. If the other team scores, then your player who is off immediately comes back on. Very cool. Going to be a very funny addition, I would, I would imagine. Next is the new penalty shootout. This looked to be like the old MLS pen penalties or... 
a penalty shot in hockey where you kind of like dribble from midfield or the attacking third in a one-on-one with the keeper, which is pretty cool. Next, kind of new match day experience. I mean, you just kind of have the stadium and whatnot. It is what it is. I'm sure it's going to look fine. It's really how it plays in game. Rush Ultimate Team. This is what I'm excited for. You're going to be able to play with your friends' cards, and it looks like... On the right here, there's going to be different bonuses, objectives, where you can get extra stuff. So, rush point bonuses, 0 to 5. So, like, for this, you'd have to use an English player, a Brazil player, a Prem player, an Evolution player. And you get multipliers and additional points to when you win games or even if you play games, which is very cool. And they did confirm that you'll get rewards for ultimate team as well. So this is in pro clubs, this is in career mode, this is in ultimate team, and it's different in each of those modes. So if you play in ultimate team with your ultimate team players, you'll get rewards for ultimate team. If you play in clubs for your club, you're going to get pro clubs rewards. I'm, I think this is going to be really cool and done correctly, obviously different than Volta. It's going to be very, very cool here. And again, we do have these new pro clubs currency and stuff, which you can reward as well as upgrading your player. Career mode, I don't really care too much about. This quick chat, I think, is kind of cool. It's kind of funny. I hope it's not just your teammates can see it because that's what they made it seem like it is. I hope it's kind of it kind of adds a little bit of that toxicity, which sounds weird, like Rocket League, where you're like, what a saving people and whatnot. I think that's kind of funny. So I hope that you can see the opposing team as well. Overall, I think Rush is honestly going to be really cool, especially for ultimate team being able to play with your friends just kind of play some shorter games together it could be a bit of fun and play with their cards as well but guys let me know your thoughts on this i think it's gonna be really fun but that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch the next video